we now come to the energy of the multi electron atoms. Okay. So, energy of the multi electron atoms. Now, in such atoms, there are two forces that are at play. Okay, so there are two forces at play. Number one is the attractive force. Number one is the attractive force between the nucleus. and the electrons right and the second is second is the the repulsive force amongst the electrons right the repulsive force between the electrons get that Now, now this force, the, the attractive force, this is a stabilizing force, right? This is the stabilizing force, while this force is the destabilizing force. What do we mean by the destabilizing force? This force tends to, to push the electron away from its object, right? Maybe away from the nucleus or, or towards the nucleus, but at least it destabilizes. It, it, it kind of does not let it remain where it is. Okay. While this kind of pulls it closer and does not allow it to fly off. Fine. Now the moment we take into account the repulsive force between the electrons, the energy does not solely depend on the distance now as it used to do to for a mono electronic species okay so what happens the energy not only depends on not only depends on the distance of the electron on the distance of the electron electron from the nucleus that is that is not only on n okay it is it is n N defines the shape of the, the size of the orbital. I'm sorry. It defines the N defines the size of the orbital, right? That's not only on N, but also on on L. But also on L. Now, and that's pretty commonsensical. For the electrons which are closer to the nucleus, okay? So, for the electrons closer to the nucleus, closer to the nucleus. The attractive force predominates, right? The attractive force predominates.
over the repulsive forces. Right? Over the repulsive forces. Why? Because, because the nucleus has many protons and, and we know that the force of attraction between two charges Q1 and Q2 separated by a distance R is given by farther away from the nucleus, the nuclear pull starts going down. You see? Because it is inversely proportional to, to R square. So you double the distance, it becomes one fourth. And the repulsive forces, they start becoming more. It's not that they become more than the attractive force itself, otherwise the electron will not be there in the, in the atom. Right? But, but comparatively, the repulsive forces go up, right? So, for the electrons farther away from the nucleus, for the electrons away from the nucleus, for the electrons away from the nucleus, the attractive forces, the attractive force Decreases and the repulsive forces and the repulsive forces increase, right? The repulsive forces increase. very important to understand what happens to the energy if you if you if you relate the energy with stability okay energy is related with stability and how what do you feel what do you feel okay a <clears throat> uh, 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 kid with a lot of energy, okay, is he more stable or an adult with lesser amount of energy than the kid is more stable? Whom will you find kind of uh, uh, the, the ability of, of being seated is more for whom? For the adult, for the person who, who has lesser amount of energy. While for a kid who is bubbling with energy, he is not finding sitting, right? Okay, rather. For the kids, the moment you find them, find them sitting or sleeping, it means that there is some problem with them. They, they might be sick or not feeling well, right? So, so in a similar manner, the same thing happens in the world of atoms. That higher the energy, higher the energy, lesser is the stability. Okay? So you can say that the stability is inversely proportional to to energy so so we need to say that the, the higher the energy lesser is the stability higher the energy lesser is the stability okay now we come to this. As as I am closer, <coughs> so electrons closer to the nucleus. Wh 
what do you feel what should be the energy what is the stability is it more stable is it more stable because the pull is more okay so it's it, its tendency to get lost get away from the atom is very very less so it is more stable so the energy is is less more stable implies lesser energy okay so so we just saw the we just saw the the energy diagram for the for the hydrogen atom let me kind of redraw it and and tell you certain things so this was the energy diagram right energy and we saw that we had a we had a one s here right so so one s was here and 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 there was a there was a 2s and 2p there i'm talking about the mono electronic species the hydrogen like species and, and 3s 3p 3d are there 3s 3p 3d are there right and and 4s 4p 4d and 4f are there correct this this the highest for n is equal to infinity okay this, this point is n is equal to infinity and and this energy is how much this energy we have found out to be e infinity was zero so all these energy that you find here they are negative energies right so so this was minus 13.6 the first step no we we had derived the energy to be en is equal to minus 13.6 upon n square electron volts is it not it is that so so this one has the least amount of energy and lesser the energy more is the stability and this is what we seem to be saying here right common sense key so as we go farther so 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 electrons farther from the nucleus farther from the nucleus are less stable okay less stable why why because stability means attachment to the nucleus attachment means the attractive force between the nucleus and the electron as you go farther away the attachment that is the attractive force goes down and the repulsive force that is the the destabilizing force goes up so you become less stable so your energy becomes more that can be readily seen here this is minus 13.6 this is this is actually this one is minus 3.4 right now now which of them is greater minus 3.4 or minus 13.6 minus 13.6 falls to the left of minus 3.6 on the other line so so minus 13.6 is is lesser whatever falls to the left on the number line is lesser correct so so minus 13.6 is lesser more stable right the third one third one was, was, was somewhere minus 1.5 so minus 1.51 one, so that is higher this becomes minus 0.85 higher you see do you see and when and the when the electron is completely out of the control of the atom it has the highest amount of energy and that energy is zero that n is equal to infinity right so as we go away from the nucleus the the, the electron become the electrons become less stable correct now now as as you go to class 12 there is a property of charge right property of charge that is called called the the additivity of charges 
This is called the additivity of charges. Right? There are some more properties, but but this is one of them, right? Conservation of charge is one, the the quantization of charge is another, and additivity is another, right? But what does it say? If there are charges here, say say plus one coulomb, say minus two coulomb, say plus three coulomb, right? Minus 0.5 coulomb, then at points far far away from this, okay, from this cluster of charges, at points far away from this cluster of charges, you will have an impact here as if as if there is the net charge acting from this this place, right? There is the net charge, and and what is the net charge here? What is the net charge? Three minus two is plus one, plus one, plus one is plus two, plus two minus point five is 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 plus one point five coulombs. So it will feel as if say say plus one point five coulomb is sitting somewhere here, and it is acting from there, right? It 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 is acting, it it is kind of acting from there at at this point. Right? Okay. That is called additivity of charges. Now, why did I tell tell this this property here? Because because if you look closely at the atom, whereby you have almost a point nucleus here, and then around it, okay. Now around it, you have this orbit, right? You have this orbit. And 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 say this is first orbit which has which has two electrons. Followed by that, so followed by that you have say the second orbit. What happens for electron sitting here, and, and and also maybe maybe this is the third orbit. Okay. Now what happens for electrons here? It sees that there is a, a ze. Correct? Do you understand what I mean by Z E? Z is what? Z represents the atomic number, so it represents also the number of protons. Okay? Number of protons in the nucleus. Fine? Number of protons in the nucleus is Z, and E is the basic charge. E is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. This is the charge on the. This is the charge on the. This is the charge on the nucleus. The positive charge on the nucleus, right? Now, now, so so this is the positive charge that is there. Now let us let us try to to talk about this electron. This electron sees that there are two. This this has this electron has a minus e charge. This electron also has a minus e charge. So what happens? So what happens? What happens is by the property of additivity of charges, this does not see the this this electron. Okay. So this electron here. This electron here does not see. The charge, the 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 charge, the positive charge uh, at the nucleus to be ZE. Okay, it, it it cannot. Why? Why can it not see? Because by the additivity of charges, these tend to sum up. Okay, these tend to sum up. So so what is the total charge? There is a ZE positive charge. And then there is a minus c, and then there is a minus c. So the net charge that this has is z minus 2 into e. This is the the net charge that this sees. 
it is not exactly cancelled. If you are nearer, it is not exactly can cancelled. You see, this effect becomes more pronounced as you go farther and farther. Okay, very very far off, this will hold good. Fine, so what happens is, is the effective charge that you see is lesser than the actual charge on the nucleus. Do we see that? Do we see that? So, so for electrons far away from the nucleus, okay, far away from the nucleus, the effective charge as seen, the effective charge as seen by the effective charge as seen by the by the electron okay the effective charge as seen by the electron from the far off is lesser than Z that E right due to the property of due to the property of of additivity of charges. property of additivity of charge okay fine it does not exactly cancel for near 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 points but if you are pretty far away far away compared to the distances between the charges they are like almost exactly as right this is called this is called this this is called the shielding effect this is called the shielding effect it shields the nucleus right shielding effect okay or the shielding effect. Okay. So, so what do we mean to say? Thus, the outer shell electrons are shielded. Thus, the outer shell electrons are shielded by the inner shell electrons. Are shielded by the inner shell electrons. Now what happens? Just try to understand. If you are shielded, okay, therefore the nucleus, the nucleus, the let me let me write the nucleus confusion, the nucleus, the therefore the nucleus. appears to the outer electrons to the outer electrons as Z effective E rather than Z E where Z effective is less than Z Do we understand the, the 
the shielding effect. Now let's take it a step further. Now since since the attractive force goes down, okay, therefore due to shielding the attractive force decreases. The attractive force decreases. That means the stabilizing force goes down. Okay? It implies the stability goes down, decreases. So what happens to the energy? Thus energy? Exactly. The energy will increase. Do we see that? Do we understand? So in a multi-electron thing, the energy of the outer one will be more than what you expect due to the shielding effect. Why? Because the, the, the nuclear charge is shielded. The positive nuclear charge is sought to be cancelled by the negative electrons that are near that due to the property of additivity of charges. Do we get the point? Okay? So the energy goes up. Now, now let us say let us say we are talking about the, the electrons in the same orbit, in some outer orbit. And suddenly, suddenly the nuclear charge goes up. How will it go up? As you shift to the right on the periodic table. Okay? So for everything remaining the same, if you increase the nuclear charge, so for, for the same outer orbit electron, for the same outer orbit electron, As the nuclear charge goes up, as the nuclear charge goes up, charge increases. As the nuclear charge increases, what happens? As the nuclear charge increases, the stability, the stability will increase. Okay? Because Z increases. Okay, Z effective is lesser than, than, than Z. But, but compared to the earlier lower Z, now the Z effective is higher, right? It gets, it, it, it is sought to be cancelled. But, but, but the shielding, due to the shielding also, since the Z at the center has gone up, even after being shielded, the Z effective will be more than what it was earlier, right? So the stability increases and the moment the stability increases, hence the energy decreases. Very good. The energy decreases. Relating energy with stability is one of the quickest way of telling, telling what happens, right? And we don't have time to kind of go into the kinetic energy, then the potential energy and then calculate and find out Z effective. We, we won't have. So when we are talking about trends, we will be talking about these kind of interrelationships between the energy and the stability. Right? And depending on, and identifying that stability goes up with the attractive forces, goes down with the repulsive forces. Correct?